Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, Sereja Andrea. So I know I've been gone for a bit. It was multiple things going on. I had to go get my nails done. It will be a vlog, but I'm actually gonna, it's gonna be in a prep. I'm going to a city somewhere at my friend. So it's gonna be more or less like in that vlog, like when I come back from the place that I'm going to. But I wanna save that, you know, on a later date cause it's gonna be a very fun surprise. I just needed a little bit of time to myself because your girl been working hard, okay? So in this video, I'm finally gonna be doing a wig. So here's the thing. First off, I did not know that my hair was going to grow this fast. I did not know this at all. I thought, you know, a week and a half after I shaved my head, I would still kind of sort of be bald. You know what I'm saying? And... I literally have a head full of hair. So I think it literally defeated the entire purpose because I'm not spitting. I think it defeated the purpose because the whole point of you guys getting excited, or I'm pretty sure you're still excited now, but the whole point was for me to have a bald head so that I don't have to do a bald cap and I could just put my wig on effortlessly. But now that I have a full head of hair now, I don't really know how that's going to happen and if it's going to happen the right way. But you know what I'm saying? Like we're still going to put the wig on anyway. So it is what it is. It is what it is. This video is going to be very quick because I really want the emphasis to be on the new Erica J holding spray. I'm going to be doing a first impressions as well as like, you know, a Larasia Andrea review because you guys know you love watching my reviews on lace sprays or sprays that can be used on lace as well, lace glues and all that stuff. You guys really appreciate my opinion. So I'm actually very happy for that, number one. And I'm very excited to try this out. So this is her newest launch that she just recently had for her newest release. Um, you guys know I told you guys I was ordering the growth oil as well. Um, and I got the new Hold Me Down Adhesive. So these were also in her newest release. I've actually been cheating and using this. I've been using it for the past four days now so that could be why my hair I don't know y'all know my hair has been growing out off the hook lately so who who was to say I've been doing so much I've been doing so much and I've changed my entire way of like how I take care of my hair and stuff like now I'm on top of it I'm using so many oils I'm taking my vitamins I'm using scalp scrubs like I'm using rice water. I'm not playing this time. Like I told you guys, I am dedicated to grow my hair back. Did not know it's gonna grow back this fast. I did not know it was gonna grow back in a week and a half. It's only Wednesday. I cut it last Friday. We are only a week and a half into me shaving my head and I already have a full head of hair. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in my hair because I did not um, put any in today i put my rice water in this morning but i did go and work out and i just got out the shower and did my makeup and all that stuff so i did not put the growth oil in today yet so better late than never and you want to know the thing about this oil it just smells so good like this smell like i can't even describe what this smells like it smells like candy but i'm trying to find the note that it has in it it literally smells like candy it has so much it has coconut oil carrot oil argon argon oil macadamia nut oil jojoba oil tea tree oil first of all i hate when people say jojoba oil have you guys ever heard someone say jojoba it is a pet peeve of mine jojoba ho ho ba ho ho ba biotin boom there you go vitamin e organic peppermint and dimethicone so let me go ahead and grab my wig plot my wig on and then we're gonna start this whole entire test of the hold me down because y'all know i be doing these whole intensive reviews so let's start first by putting my wig on and we shall move on 
after that. So here is Samantha. Samantha is a white blonde. You guys know I love me a white blonde. Um, like I said, I did go ahead and pin curl her. So I don't have to do anything extensive. All I gotta do is plop Shouty on and then we good to go, honey. Okay, so this hair is from Chambray Hair. It's their season one raw blonde. If I did not mention, but if you guys are interested, I would definitely link. I will definitely link the information down below. This is a black owned company, honey. Okay, so definitely make sure you guys show support because I've used Champagne's hair. Um, I think I used their hair for the Nicki Minaj video, but I definitely have a um, natural black video coming up with them because that hair is so bomb but i just love their blonde hair i love their black hair everything that they have is pretty much raw so it's a whole different type of ball game with raw hair it's a whole different type of you know what i'm saying so if you guys are interested in pure raw hair you definitely is going to be a little bit pricey but honey it is pure raw so you get what you pay for okay so this is my favorite lace i swear to you chambray hair has like my all-time favorite lace ever I just feel like it just blends in so well with my skin like look at this look at this like this is insane like I guess it doesn't matter because you guys know I don't have a ball cap on I literally just plop this honey on and you do not see um you know my black hair so I guess that's a good thing so okay let's move on so like I do every single time I'm going to do a back of my hand test with the spray just to kind of kind of get a feel of the hold get a feel of how the product works how it sprays out of the bottle so on and so forth so first I'm just going to do like a tester spray in my um trash can oh, a spray is pretty normal like any other holding on uh, any other spray bottle i'm just going to do a couple of sprays on the back of my hand already i feel this tightening on on the back of my hand okay let's read the ingredients i'm trying to see if there's any alcohol in this it definitely is no alcohol i'm not going to butcher any of these names because i cannot pronounce any of that but i do not see any alcohol on the back of the bottle so that is a complete good thing because i know I know the first ingredient on a lot of these got to be bottles is alcohol as you guys can see right here and the ingredients on the back of Erica J's does not actually her first ingredient is water so being that that is being as it may you know what i'm saying for someone that has more of an oily skin an oily scalp an oily you know oily pores and everything like that just be aware that the first base in this is water so if you guys are very more prone to sweat it probably won't last as long so this definitely isn't like waterproof sweat resistant or anything like that because it definitely will come right up once it has any type of water activated in it so i just want to point that out to you guys for the first you know impression that i have now even though this is not necessarily like a lace spray she does advertise it to be a good hold on like a one day two day three day application of your laces if you are more or less like a glueless person that does not like to wear um lace glue on themselves this can be a second option so let me go ahead and do my pull test for you guys and my hold test so you guys know i always do this on the back of my hand i'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of pushes just to see the hold and it has a pretty good hold i i'm not complaining i am not complaining at all i feel like once it gets like a good grip it has a pretty good hold so i can see that it does have a shiny residue and this is why I do back of the hand tests like how I do so that I can have a pretty good idea of how these sprays work. So because I know that it does, oh my gosh, because I know that it does have a shiny residue, what I want to do, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol just to wipe up any makeup, any oils or anything that I have on my forehead because I don't want to really have that have a bad effect when i spray this product on so i'm just gonna 
go ahead and wipe it down now um with this type of spray bottle because i saw how it sprayed on the back of my hand i don't think that i want to just spray it directly onto my forehead because i just think it's going to kind of be a mess so for an alternative i do have a um applicator bowl it's like a you know a applicator you can use for bleach or color or anything like that am i in focus it's like an applicator that you guys can use for bleach or color or anything like that. I'm just going to spray a generous amount of the product into this bowl. And once I feel like I got a good amount of the product, I'm going to take an applicator and just kind of just spread, spread it all around into the applicator bowl. And now I'm just going to apply where I know I want ooh too much where I know I want to lay my wig and like I said I feel like this product does dry like pretty dang fast so I'm not even gonna use a blow dryer just because I can literally feel it drying already so I'm just gonna take the wig and I feel like doing it with an applicator will just make it a lot neater a lot cleaner um, for you to just have your wig applied and even if you have to do a little bit more of an area so um, I definitely feel like I need to do obviously my sides but I'm gonna go with my applicator and just go over the part of the wig that I didn't lay down with the spray to begin with and just lightly go over top of the lace and you guys can just see how much neater this entire application is. Just so much better than me just going straight with the bottle. Squirt, blah, 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 blah. Especially with a bottle like this, I just, I just saw it going bad. So I was like, you know what? Just to avoid all costs, I'm just going to, uh, to apply the product on this way. And I'm just going to take a back of my comb and just push down on my forehead. And this is specifically a um, static-free, heat-resistant comb that I got from Sally Beauty. Recently, I feel like I've been liking this for applying my lace glue or my lace sprays, holding sprays, glue sprays, or anything like that because it doesn't stick to the product and it just lays the lace down super good. And I will just link this comb. Hopefully, I can find it from Sally's uh, down below. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this side and then finish my other side. And then when I'm done with all that, I will just go ahead and lay down my curls, style my hair, and then do a pull test at the end of the video.
Okay, so I went ahead and let down the pin curls. I also went ahead and did the rest of the hairline. Like this lace, honey, child, boo-boo, stain. The absolute truth. Like this, I... Ugh. I love this lace so much like I love this lace I love this company I love every single thing that they send me it's just amazeballs so again this is the blonde season one the difference between season one and season two season two in the Nicki Minaj wig is a lot more silky in texture um, it still has a texture to it but as you guys can see with this hair like this has an absolute texture. Like this is not silky blonde. This is not AliExpress blonde. Like this is pure Indian, pure textured hair. It literally feels as if it was African American hair, like a yaki texture and they just went ahead and bleached it to be like blonde. Like that's exactly how it feels. Like it feels like like real hair it's dense like real hair like this is not aliexpress honey it is not okay it is not but yes my final thoughts as far as the erica j let me do let me do a pull test really quickly all right so let me do the sides okay let me pull this side yeah this side too i thought when i pulled my sides it was going to come up i'm not even going to lie to y'all because in the beginning i'm like oh like i don't i don't really know i don't really know honey because when it was drying down i was like okay i can see that it's holding my lace down but as far as like a hold i don't really know about that so i hope i don't like embarrass myself when i try to do <laughs> like i hope i don't embarrass myself when i try to do a pull test and be out here and be humiliating humiliating you know what i'm saying in the sides because y'all know the sides are the first to come up like i'm i'm doing it hard i'm doing it hard y'all know how i be doing my pull test so yes 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 so um i hope you guys try out the trick like i really do like try to use the holding spray and just spray it into like a container or something and then when you apply it with like an applicator and do it that way i just think moving forward in general like whether i use anything like whether i use lace spray um got to be or whatever i feel like carrying in my bag on a random tuesday i'm definitely going to be doing that method just because i feel like the whole cleanliness of the lace is just a huge difference like a completely huge difference and i also feel like it is very beginner friendly so i feel like it will really help a lot of people that have the trouble that when they spraying sprays on their hairline whether it's got to be whether it's erica j whether it's anything that they're spraying on their hairline it usually 95% of the time gets on our lace, gets in our hair, and kind of can get nasty sometimes. So definitely try out this method. I want to see how you guys feel about it. Y'all know I be, my mind be working sometimes. I It be on a giving random Tuesday. It be good. It be good sometimes. You know what I mean? So let me know if you guys try out that method. Also, let me know if you guys try out the Erica J holding spray. This will definitely be my go-to for when I just need a nice little quick little slay real quick. I'm not trying to do the whole got the, the I'm not trying to do the whole lace glue thing. I just need to run out the house really quick. As you guys can see, when I was spraying this down or when I was like laying it down, I didn't have to use a blow dryer or anything. So that is a complete difference from using um the got to be because with this I had to blow dry it. And with the Erica J, I did not. So, so yes, let me know how you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys want to see a updated two week video of how I grew my hair so fast and the products that I use. Like I said, please thumbs up. Th uh, uh, I can't talk. Please thumbs up this video so that I know you guys number one enjoyed this video and number two want to see the updated natural hair video. So as always, I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And bye guys.